When a high-speed passenger train derailed at Greyrig, tragically 89 people were injured, one fatally. A set of points that were in an unsafe state was identified as the cause. However, in order to learn lessons, the RAIB also carried out a great deal of analysis on what happened to the train and the passengers after it had come off the track at 95 miles an hour. Investigators wanted to understand how passenger injuries were caused. To do this, RAIB needed to work out what happened to each carriage, where it had travelled, how fast it had decelerated and what it had hit. This is known as derailment dynamics. The findings were then matched to the damage the carriages sustained both inside and out and how all these aspects were related to the injuries people had suffered, as RAIB inspector Winston Rasai explains. We needed to reconstruct how the accident actually unfolded and to do this we need to take a number of things into consideration. Um, the first is that we need to uh, chart the damage to both the vehicles and the infrastructure um, and look at things like ground marks to help us identify the path of the vehicles. Um, we also have to interrogate the trains onboard uh, computers to understand uh, the speeds that the train was doing at a particular time, what the brakes were doing and what other um, services on the train, um, how they were performing at the time. It, it helped us at the time to construct a model because of the movements of the train and the complexities involved with so many different parts of the infrastructure. We needed to map out the points of contact between the train and, and um, items of infrastructure like the overhead line electrification mass. Um, so to do that we actually um, charted the damage on the sides of the vehicles and used the model, uh, a 3D model, um, to help us to understand how each vehicle moved through the site. We also have to examine the outside of the vehicle to understand how that performed um, and make sure that we understand how, any, how it might have had any uh, impact on the injuries. Uh, and also how the interior of the vehicle performed to see if there was any damage that was um, caused which might have injured passengers or whether perhaps they were sharp objects that were flying around at the time which might have caused injury. Uh, one of the things we needed to do was to bring the vehicles back to a secure location. Um, so all the vehicles were taken to a site in Birmingham uh, and uh, stable securely so that we could uh, over a period of uh, weeks uh, examine each one in detail and take photographs and uh, make notes of the damage. One of the important uh, items of evidence on board a train these days is CCTV. Um, sometimes the CCTV is working and some, sometimes it isn't. In this particular case there was some CCTV available. Um, it's particularly useful before the accident happens, when it is working, to help us to identify who was sat in a particular location and to understand how passengers were distributed inside the vehicle um, so that we can identify uh, where people were, were located. A very key item of evidence for us is witness statements from the passengers. Um, we get this information from them by means of a questionnaire which um, was dis these questionnaires were distributed to passengers um, with the assistance of the British Transport Police um, and the questionnaire seeks to identify important information about where they were located, um, which direction they were facing for instance and more, most importantly the nature of any injuries that they sustained and if they can remember how they sustained those injuries. It is certainly true that the, the design of the carriages plays a large part in how well a vehicle behaves in an accident uh, such as the one at Grey Rig. Uh, in this particular case some very important uh, features worked well even though the vehicles rolled over um, they didn't squash and therefore people were, were not crushed inside. Um, the windows of the vehicles um, stayed intact even though some of them were smashed which is almost inevitable in circumstances like this. Um, and this importantly kept people within the vehicle. The, the, the train involved uh, at Grey Rig um, was built to uh, modern crashworthiness standards. Um, 
So um, many of its features were designed um, to perform well in uh, collisions, um, although this was a derailment. Um, but still, some of those safety features work well in derailments as well, and hence the casualty toll was not as bad as it perhaps could have been. We made a number of uh, recommendations following Rayrig and the um, investigations we carried out. Um, one of them was in connection or regarding um, the securing of um, some panels um, which on one of the vehicles had um, come down, uh, had detached and uh, had caused injury to passengers. Uh, we also made recommendations in connection with the securing of seats, um, especially when vehicles roll over and sometimes their body sides become deformed, mm -hmm. it's important that the seats remain intact, at least in place, and uh, don't become detached, because clearly when seats become detached they can cause injury to, to passengers. We also made recommendations with regard to uh, designing vehicles for uh, preventing penetration by external objects and for rollover. Although the vehicles at Grey Rig performed well in those regards, um, there are still currently no standards um, that um, designers can use to, to make sure their vehicles in the future perform equally well. Following an accident, there are always lessons to learn. Uh, we also made a recommendation about understanding the injury mechanisms that uh, were at play in Grey Rig. Um, so that in the future we might be able to design the interiors of vehicles better. Rail is one of the safest ways to travel and because of Britain's enviable record, safety on our railways is often taken for granted. This is thanks to lessons learned and the continuous improvements made in all aspects of their operation, whether it's workforce training, better maintenance procedures or clever engineering solutions.